troublemaker, Joe Igbokwe roast Baba Hamed. An aide to Governor Babajide Sonwolu of Lagos State, Joe Igbokwe, has berated the spokesman of the Northern Edas Forum, Nef Akin Baba Hamed, over his statement on the 2023 presidency news report report that Baba Hamed had on Sunday insisted that power would remain in the north after 2023 and anyone who doesn't want a northern a northern as a president in 2023 can leave the country when it happens speaking at an event in Kaduna state the nerve spokesperson stated that northerners would not be treated as second class citizen as they have the population to decide who becomes the president he had said we will lead Nigeria the way we have led Nigeria before. Whether we are president or vice, we will lead Nigeria. Hmm. Well, people aren't taking this really, really well, right? Well, that's how it is. So many Nigerians and at all. Hmm. Well, he said what he said. We have the majority of the vote and the democracy says vote whom you want. Why should we accept a second class position when we know we can buy forms and contents for the first class and we will win why does anybody need to threaten us and intimidate us we will get that power but be humble because power comes from god we inherited leadership being honest is not being stupid in a post via his facebook page on monday he described baba hamed and others conversing for another northern to succeed President Mohamed Buhari in 2023 as troublemakers. He added that the North should forget about producing the next president in 2023 and concede to the South. Those who are telling us that the North can still produce the president of Nigeria in 2023 after ruling for eight years are troublemakers. They cannot get it. They missed the point, Igbokwe wrote. Hmm. Joe Igbokwe, you are here again. You are a man which we all know has a loud mouth, but this time around, if you ask me what Joe Igbokwe said is correct, he is right and he has the right to say what. Well, Joe Igbokwe is right and he has the reason that Baba is dreaming that all those people who are clamoring for it to go to the north are all jokers. If you ask me, he is right because. Those people think that Nigeria belongs to them because they have been claiming Nigeria belongs to them, that they have the population and they can do whatever they want. Hmm. I don't think the solution is for the president to come from the north. What we need is a good leader in Nigeria from any region. Hmm. Okay, oh yes sir, if we are lucky to get a censor candidate from the south that can deliver... That could be great, thanks. Okay, if you ask me, I think Peter Obi could actually be... A good choice for the South to make because when they talk about David Uma here, I will say it's a no, 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 because he is a no for me. I think Peter Obi is even more better when we want to choose a candidate from the South. If you ask me, hmm, you are in Lagos attacking people, can you come to your state and contest for governors? For governor, if you will not respect your age, okay, please watch which state. The man come from is not from Lagos State, okay? Not politicians are confused because they, okay? They're telling us that the Northern politicians are confused because they deceive the country for all this why and they are ashamed if the South don't produce the president in Then your turn to is read thanks to Joe Ibukwe for realizing that the North is claiming Nigeria as their property. Okay. Hmm. It has ended Gary and soup politics. Okay. And someone else is saying a full full one Igbo land. <laughs> Please, we all should recognize the supremacy, the supremacy of our God and act accordingly. Okay. Thus, if there would be a country come 2023, Joy would you're no more supporting your Fulani masters, they will use and dump you when the time comes. Sabotua like you, hmm. Baba Ahmed is a big criminal and he is useless. All Nigerian men should increase the numbers of their children and not relax at the at few kids. 
wow if we have all those children you're talking about are you going to feed them <laughs> how expensive food is right now can someone actually tell me that having thousands of kids is what is going to help us right now in the south hmm. well we may also need to start counting fowls goats cows like the north hmm. well it's unfortunate that many people does not know that this useless slave Ibuque is ranting not because of the sake of the southern Nigeria is Igbo brethren, but because it's getting clearer by the day that his slave masters has been used and dumped and would not be handed over to the presidency of Nigeria as was promised to save all the APC and other political structure are gradually tactically being taken from him. I don't know about that to ask me. I don't know. Maybe that's the reason why Ibuku is doing all the things he's doing, though. But if you ask me, I think Ibuku has just realized that him being a saboteur to his people will not favor him at all. That is why he at home. Ibuku is just like the prodigal son, if you ask me. Oh, you are attacking now because you know that when this outburst is followed to the letter, it will end that selfish political permutation of your godfather. Where well, a flavor like you, hmm. wait soon as the alibi dance your boss has been dancing with them with Claire on his eyes, then they will tell him to face that where they placed North Korea and Russia president is where they placed him and they can't take such gamble. Okay, I command you Ibuku for this one. Okay, someone say comment him for it. It's important because he is in APC, Baba. I made us a rug, okay? Uh -huh. Commendation on zero level. I love in Jagaba way, okay? Where Igboke, ha 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 ha. You know, it's later. They have told you their position and you can't do anything about it. Uh -huh. Well, I am sorry for Igbos who are dreaming for president. Can we see what Kanu is fighting for? We are slaves to northern people. Hmm. Someone says, so you mean northerners are like Messi and C. Ronaldo. Seven, now is citizen and politics. Chai, I like north and Fulani people. Okay, continue like them. Very soon, when the VAT issue is concluded, we will know who is superior, that the north or the south. Hmm. The north has not forced slavery on anyone. It is the political your chains among the Igbos that are bringing shame and disaster on hard-working, dignified Igbo people. Okay, you might be right about that. We have been working ourselves out all this while and when we pay our tax, it's been generated and taken to the north and share it for them. That is why they don't bother going to school or even working hard to earn what we the southern people are earning. You can go to the comment section and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening.